the slow destruction of the Amazonian rainforest. The felling of thousands of square miles of trees has not only shown us the result of man's insatiable and sometimes irresponsible hunger for resources, but also, ironically, what may become one of the most important historical discoveries of the modern age. Evidence of a very ancient and as yet unknown civilization has become apparent upon the now barren landscape. A civilization which would have dwarfed the Egyptian and Roman empires combined. As a result of the drastic deforestation that has taken place over the last few decades to make way for farming land, huge swaths of land features have become visible from the air. Not only are these now grassy areas showing evidence of numerous, enormous complex ancient cities, but also the remnants of what could be classified as straight Roman roads connecting these massive sites. According to a new report published in the Journal of Antiquity, the archaeologist Marti Parsinen, along with numerous other scientists, have documented more than 210 geometric structures. The city spreads out over an area of more than 250 square kilometers, reaching from northern Bolivia to the state of Amazonia in Brazil. Although the early explorers had heard legends from the Indians regarding a fabulously rich Amazonian civilization, which they named El Dorado, the countless searches for this city of gold have all invariably ended in failure. No evidence of a vast ancient civilization within Amazonia had ever materialized, that is, until now. Most scholars subsequently concluded that El Dorado was no more than a story. Indeed, scientists believed that the merciless conditions in the jungle were simply too inhospitable to support a large population. The most influential archaeologist of the 20th century, Betty Meggers, famously dubbed the region as counterfeit paradise. In the early 1900s, the British explorer Percy Harrison Fawcett, while exploring and mapping much of the same area where the ruins were recently discovered, reported finding large earth mounds filled with ancient and brittle pottery and buried under the jungle floor, he claimed he had also found traces of causeways and roadways. Based on this and other evidence, he insisted that the Amazon once contained large populations and at least one, if not more, advanced civilizations. Despite being dismissed and ridiculed as a crank, he set off in 1925 to find the place, which he christened the City of Z. Shortly thereafter, his entire party, including his 21-year-old son Jack, vanished within the jungle and they were never seen of again. Because of the symmetrical shape of many of these mounds now seen from the air and the way they slant to the north, a possibility that they may have had an astronomical purpose had begun to be seriously looked at. We could quite possibly be on the verge of discovering another highly advanced civilization which once lived here on Earth. As always, thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care. Over the last few years, more and more modern technologies have been utilized by individuals with access to them in an effort to not only expose the truth regarding the real history of man, but to discover the actual original size of these now lost civilizations' ancient ruins. Many sites have been laid to waste, not only by future settlements and tomb robbers, but by Mother Nature herself many of these most impressive sites having endured eons of erosion after being mysteriously abandoned, exposed to the elements. Yet there exists a number of these sites which have been somewhat protected from these forces. Although vegetation can have a catastrophic effect, uprooting the megalithic foundations of these sites, yet the actual footprint of these structures, and indeed the overall size of these once lost settlements, can still be seen through modern penetrative radar, with one of the most incredible found in the past few years. Undoubtedly, the mega metropolis hidden beneath the dense forests of Guatemala. Although some clearings dotted within this landscape have been spared, somehow avoiding the suffocation of trees, it has been discovered that these sites, long argued as separate sites of habitation, were, in reality, once part of the same gigantic city, one of unimaginable size and complexity that was unquestionably home to not mere thousands, but was in fact a settlement that was home to more than 10 million. Yet although this reality is a compelling, supportive fact regarding our own beliefs, 
in regards to a far greater, now hidden, and widely ignored history of mankind. There are still features of this ancient site that is still attempted to be ignored, overlooked, and hopefully concealed from the majority of the world's population, ultimately avoiding them questioning the true reality of what they have been taught, and the possible truth regarding our history, which these sites could provide to all those who gaze upon them. Although these particular megalithic blocks somehow stood on their heads, have been explored and exposed for nearly a hundred years, with many photographic expeditions having been made to these sites, it has now been proven that these megalithic blocks were not merely signposts made of stones in situ, but were clearly stones cut and once transported to their current location and were actually strategically placed within one huge mega-settlement. This fact is attempted to be stifled, avoiding individuals questioning how, if indeed they were transported and cut by our more recent ancestors, the Mayans, how they actually accomplished this feat when they clearly required now lost techniques and technologies, as although they were far more primitive, technologically speaking to the modern man, with us only accomplishing such abilities within the last century, all thanks to modern technology. This is clearly an identifying feature, which exposes the true capabilities of the builders of this enormous city, and the fact that although academics would like to argue that it was merely a Mayan settlement, it possesses, like so many other astonishing sights on Earth, as yet unexplained enigmas, which not only fly in the face of this explanation for their origins, but actually suggest that they were merely re-inhabited by the Mayans, allowing archaeologists to point the finger at such a group due to their archaeological fingerprint having been left at the location, sites which were in fact built by a now lost yet once highly capable ancient civilization that due to their immense age has now been lost to history like so many of their ancient settlements, lost to the sands of time, with only the foundation of which now survive, thankfully exposed by modern technologies. Who were these ancient people? How or indeed why did they move and cut such enormous, enigmatic ancient megaliths within this enormous, now lost city? It is a place which we find highly compelling.